This spring break, a group of students from Missouri University of Science and Technology traveled to Guatemala to conduct water studies. Antigua, Guatemala is a very old Catholic city that is flanked by volcanoes. The streets are filled with little tuk-tuks, which are Guatemalan taxis, and big buses that are painted in absurdly bright colors. The country is ancient, beautiful, and exotic. It's also full of trash. The place is in need of sanitation services, dog catchers, and safer drinking water. One method for getting clean water here is to filter it through pots made of sawdust and clay. In Antigua, the Missouri s and students are studying the filters to see how they work. Nicole Heinley, a graduate student, wants to get some contaminated water for a test. This morning, I'm going to be going to a river. We're going to a river called Guacalate, and it's a very, very polluted river. Basically, my plan was to have to purchase inoculum that had E. coli in it from a lab in town and then create my own contaminated water. And we've just been having problems seeing that there's actually bacteria in the water. If I don't have bacteria in my contaminated water, then my experiments, you know, invalid. There's nothing, there's no point to do it. So we're going to go to Guacalate today where we know there's bacteria and just collect a sample from there and use that as our contaminated water source. So we're in search of contaminated water in Guatemala and we're going to find it. Oh, easily. It'll take about five minutes to get there. There are six students in our group, all of them females majoring in various engineering fields. In addition to Nicole, there's Leah and Allison and Lacey and Erica and Connie. We know we're getting closer to the Little River because we can smell it, but the stench apparently doesn't scare off various critters. They have snakes in Guatemala? Yeah. Right here, no. Right here, no. Thank goodness. No. Right in this exact location, <laughs> lizard. How how big are these lizards? Not that big. They're not that big. It's so frightening. With water samples safely collected and results of the test pending, we decide to go on a different excursion. We find ourselves on a three hour drive through mountains and clouds. Our destination is an orphanage in Lamoa. Dr. Kurt Elmore, an associate professor of geological engineering at Missouri S and T, installed a well at the orphanage years ago. Periodically, he takes groups of students back to check on the water. We are met by Lydia Garcia, who is in charge of the orphanage. Her English is much better than my Spanish. She says she's always happy to see people from Missouri S&T. Yes, uh, several groups or teams have come through here to help and to analyze the water and make sure it's still uh, good for to drink like that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There are 19 kids at the orphanage, ranging from infants to older children. What's your name? Mariana. Mariana. I'm Jessica. 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 Beautiful names. Dr. Elmore says the orphanage was originally built with a rooftop rain collection system. Unfortunately, water collected in that manner is contaminated by bird droppings and other things that are bad for you. According to Elmore, the relatively new well on the property is 800 feet deep and produces lots of water. Most of the water at the orphanage is used uh, to wash clothes. Mm -hmm. They wash a lot. They have a lot of babies. So there's a lot of clothes being washed. Mm -hmm. So I need to read these water meters, and then we'll walk down and look at the well, see if it looks okay. The water at the orphanage is in good shape, but Lydia Garcia says she's having problems with the water at her house in nearby Chichi Costanango. Lydia's house is equipped with a UV disinfection unit that was also installed by Dr. Elmore and a previous group of students. Ultraviolet light kills bacteria in water. Right now, the unit is broken. The current group of engineering students tackles the problem. Their solution involves hair ties, of all things. So how come you use, had to use hair ties? Because it was missing a part that holds stuff down. Is that the technical term? <laughs> so it's fortunate that we didn't have all male engineers here? That is what I said, yes. If there had been only boys here, we would have been in a real pickle. <laughs> With the sounds of science from Spring Break in Guatemala, I'm Lance Fye for KMST.